by MyGov to fire Nika. Top hawks in the MDC have scaled up a campaign to discredit and muzzle Morgan Sfanger, a spokesperson on allegations of abandoning his responsibilities. MDC President Morgan Changarai with his spokesman Luke Tambor and Yoka Luke Tambor and Yoka, the spokesperson for the MDC leader, stands accused of taking sides in the battle to succeed the former Prime Minister in the unity government. 2009-2013 who is battling cancer of the colon by speaking on behalf of faction led by one of Svangare's three deputies, Nelson Chamiza, who is considered the former trade unionist's heir apparent, following Svangare's statement last week in which he hinted that he was considering retiring and handing over power to a younger leader, Tambor and Yoka has been under the Kosh for releasing the statement from the likes of MDC Secretary General Douglas Monzora, spokesperson Obit Gutu and Ian McConey, a senior official in the party. Gutu and Monzora are believed to be backing Thoko Zani Kope, Svangare's longest serving deputy in the race to succeed Changarai. Tambor and Yoka is being accused of taking advantage of the MDC leader's illness to peddle falsehoods under the guise of speaking on behalf of his boss. It has been a dog-eat-dog -dog affair in the MDC since Changarai sanctioned the release of the statement by his spokesperson as jossing for his position became open and brazen. Chamis are along with the other MDC vice presidents Elias Mitsuri and Kope have since declaring their interests in the post in the event that Changarai becomes incapacitated. Meanwhile, Mwanzora and company, according to MDC insiders, have hatched a plan to Discredit Svangare's purported statement is false by issuing a counter-statement with the help of one of Svangare's brothers, Collins. The counter-statement which was allegedly penned at McCone's property in the capital, transfers Tambor and Yoko's responsibility to speak for Changrai to acting MDC President Mudsuri, albeit without the former Prime Minister's blessings. While Gutu was not taking calls, McCone refused to respond to the allegations that he was behind the statement saying, I don't speak to journalists, thank you. Contacted for comment yesterday, Mwanzora said he was elected overwhelmingly to be Secretary General of the MDC and not for any other post. Concerning the family letter, Mwanzora said he was not aware of it because I don't speak for the Sfangare. I fully respect them and the privacy. Mwanzora said it was premature to discuss Sfangare's succession. He said, I know that there is no vacancy for president in my party because Changarai is still there. I am an optimist and believe he will be well so my dream is to serve in his government. I am not even thinking about becoming president when he leaves because I think he is still around, he said. Collins confirmed that indeed they had come up with that decision without Svangare's knowledge. We agreed as a family that Mudzuri is the family's spokesperson in this. Matter. Morgan Changarai is just one member of the family. He is not the family, so we can make decisions without one member, and what we decide as family is binding. Collins said. Tambor and Yoka remains his individual spokesperson, and we came up with that decision after we saw statements coming out that we did not understand. So Mazuri speaks on behalf of the family, he added. MDC's National Organizing Secretary Abednego Bepe also told the Daily News that he was not happy with Tambor and Yoka. He issued a controversial statement that cannot be verified because Changrai is not there to clarify. Bepe, who is aligned to the Kope faction, said, We would have loved a situation whereby Changrai calls a press conference to clarify the statement attributed to him, but because of the circumstances, that is not possible, but we all know that any sick person does not think straight hence we suspect that the statement did not originate from him. He added, MDC insiders claimed yesterday that Changarai was not happy with his lieutenant's treatment of Tambor and Yoka who is believed to be very close to him. Tambor and Yoka's mobile number was not reachable for him to clarify the origins of the Statement. MDC insiders, however, allege that Collins Changarai acted unilaterally when he issued the family statement. The statement was not even written by the family. It was only Collins who was taken advantage of by people who are worried that the baton is about to be handed to Chamisa so you will realize that the likes of Manes Fangare's other brother were not part of that, the source said. We know their plan is to muzzle Tambor and Yoka so that he 
does not say what Changarai wants in its entirety because they know he doesn't believe in their abilities so they are out of the race. They hope that by getting rid of Tambor and Yoka, they will have silenced MT but the die is cast, the decision has been made and there is no going back. Daily News